Micah, Micah, Micah! I need your help. What's up, Nick? Well, there's a ghost inside the hollowed halls of Dowling Catholic High. No way! What can I do to help you? Well, I'm going to need your help to find the ghost. Now, this ghost has been terrorizing teachers and students abound for years inside Dowling. No, I didn't even know about this. No, that's so crazy. Inside of Dowling's hallowed halls, when the clock strikes three and the bell rings, when little girls and boys go to use the restroom, to say, use the facilities, there has been turned a ghost that scares the living bejeebers out of every student that walks through the main restroom in the West Hall. No, that's so scary. But the school must be terrorized. That's just terrible. And it's not just a bathroom ghost. This ghost has gone through different teachers' rooms and terrorized their rooms as well, dismantling things, turning desks over, and hurting the living bejeebers out of their teachers' psyches. Man, I feel bad for the school. They don't deserve this. Oh, yes, it's gotten Mr. Kenko and Mr. Club and even Mr. McLean. You see a guy like Metz, you know, with his tie undone, all disheveled, and you're wondering, like, why is Mr. Metz disheveled? Well, the reason Mr. Metz is disheveled isn't because he just came from Burger King or anything. It's because of this freaking ghost. No, I never knew that. Oh, I feel so bad. Poor Mr. Metz, poor Mr. McLean and Mr. Kenko. And I don't know what to do, so I've implored your help. If you can help me help everyone else, we can save the school. Do you think the school deserves this? The school deserves our help, and that's all I know. If we can help the school, then we can be heroes. You know, there isn't many times in this life where you have the heart, the heart of a champion, to go out and fight the ghosts, to win the battle, to win the day. I'm asking you for that help. Let's do it. All right, Micah. Yeah. Hi, how are you guys doing today? We're pretty shaken up. I don't think we can do this. We can't do this. We cannot do this. Ryan, we have to help them. The school needs to know the truth. OK, uh, why don't you guys just take us through what happened? Well, it all started when, when Mr. McLean and I were having one of our daily jam sessions. With the pop in the stand, he's in the king and the queen at the prom. Riding around with the car top down and the radio on. Nobody looked any finer. Always more than him at the Parkway Diner. We never knew we could want more than that out of life. Surely me, Brendan Eddie would always know how to survive. Oh, oh, oh. sudden we were interrupted. It, it came and went so fast. <laughs> Mr. Metz, what do you think about the ghost around Dallin Catholic? Ask me if I care. And I was just wondering if you could tell us what happened. Oh, yeah, yesterday during uh, my attendance question, I heard this really weird like, moaning sound coming from somewhere, and it was really scary. I was really freaked out. Okay, so the attendance question today is your favorite activity to do in the summer. So, Mr. Adam. I would say probably... Ooh. Oh, <laughs> So now that we've had the chance to talk with some people that have had first encounters with the ghost, 
We also need to talk to a skeptical of the ghost who doesn't really believe the ghost exists, Mr. Club. He's the school psychologist. Mr. Club, what can you tell us about the ghost and why you don't believe in it? Well, I've just never believed in ghosts. I think the whole school is jumping at all these rumors and are going off the deep end a little bit, if you pardon that word. Um, actually, there's been studies done that there's no ghosts exist at all. They've never found any ghosts, ever. Really? Well, can, you take, can I take a look at those studies? That could help crack the case. Oh, well... I've never really seen the studies. I guess I just assumed because I don't believe in ghosts. Are there any ghosts here? Are there any ghosts here? Okay, so I don't have much evidence, so we're going back to ask Mr. McKinkle and Mr. McLean some more questions. Yeah. So let's go into Mr. Kinkle's room. Are you the ghost? What? No, of course not, Micah. Nick, why would you do that? I've been looking for this real, real ghost. And it turns out to be you? What? <laughs> you caught me, and if you wouldn't have for these meddling kids. Oh, I guess I forgive you. All right, Micah, I'm sorry. All right. Okay.